All right, welcome back, everybody, to another Stefan Dushan of Serbia. So, last time we endured uh, Shumadia's counterattack, but now we're going to John against John. And my fate was joined 30 years ago with your beloved His Majesty Stefan. Young man, do you want to hear my story now? I used to be close friends with the deceased Emperor Andronikos III. The late Emperor trusted me very much and appreciated uh, me, my, my grand domestic and even wanted to make me co-emperor. When the late Emperor passed away, I also de was determined to repay uh, the Emperor with death and did, not, did my best to assist his orphan, the current Emperor John. Who are you? I was shocked, but even though there was a thousand words in my heart, I couldn't speak. My name is John Kantenekuzenos. At that time, Emperor John was still young, but Empress Dowager Anna, uh, under the instigation of a group of nobles, felt that I was plotting something wrong and I wanted to and wanted to kill me while I was leading the troops out. It's ridiculous. If I had the intention to be this emperor, why did I refuse the late emperor's request to pass the throne to me? In this way, I became a fugitive, uh, anathemized, and became the public enemy of the emperor empire I had devoted half my life to. My home was destroyed, my property was ransacked, my close friends betrayed me, my mother was kicked out of the house with uh, a few weeks later. Dang. And died a few weeks later. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's, a, that's an unfortunate turn. <laughs> Only my loyal and devoted soldiers were furious. I was forcibly put on the purple robe and uh, proclaimed emperor. What else could I do at that moment? I can only turn this way to black, but... At the time, I was alone, and my army was not strong enough to fight Constantinople directly. At this time, Stefan Dushan found me like a greedy wolf spelling blood, and he said that he was willing to help me on the condition that the city personally conquered would be owned by Serbia. Of course, I knew that cooperating with Stefan is a doomed petition, but for now, I can only agree to this humiliating treaty. Of course, I had already thought about it at the time. Once it succeeded, I would immediately abandon the treaty and regain the lost territory. However, I made the same mistake as his father back then, which was to underestimate Stefan Dushan. Oh boy. All the twists and turns. No, it is Byzantine politics. That's, uh, that's pretty much par for the course. Ah, there's John the Sixth, Cantacuzenos. Stefan, thank you for being on my side at this juncture. As you can see, the Empire is at stake now, and John V sees me as a thorn in his side. Without help, I cannot secure my interest in Thrace. Uh, no shortage of rewards, and uh, yeah, it's entered in Thessaloniki. Help take Thessaloniki, and then Thrace and Macedonia be included in Serbian territory. A deal is a deal. Running, running, and running. My brother Stefan, you and your army can rest assured to camp here, and I'm going to the front direct to attack the enemy. I'm waiting for you to come to support me later. Thank you very much. Of course, you need to give me time. Under the powerful cavalry of Serbia, it's only a matter of time before we capture Thessaloniki. A new weapon, a uh, hand cannon. Ah, okay, so he gets hand cannons now. Uh, this guy is babbling. Uh... Good old Jovan Oliver Grishnich knows what's going down. Can I place my town centers, please? Askatova, indeed. <sighs> I would like to get one more TC. Sure. Uh, never imagined you would unite the Serbs to usurp the throne. Dushan, I advise you not to interfere with our affairs, or don't blame me for not showing you no mercy. I won't show you no mercy, man. Alright, let's take a gander. Destroy the four fortified towers next to the palace in Thessaloniki. The army of John VI, Kanta Kozenos, must not be defeated. And secondary task, defeat John V, Palaiolog... Palaiologos' army. Um, deep into Thrace, you have no naval support for the time being. You also cannot train petards. Manganels cannot force an attack. Uh, the various forces you have a relatively complex relationship, but the battle situation will bring different results according to your choices. Although an attack on Thessaloniki needs you to pass through the base of John the Sixth Kentonozendos, 
Use transport ships to get to the other side of Lake Kirkini. For you have a navy, it's very difficult for you to uh, direct attack on the Ottoman army located on Thassos Island. Okay. Uh, although John V will initially be your enemy, you can choose to ally with him later on. Oh, boy. Uh, um, the Alemanic Guard is not following, so I can't train the Alemanchen. Navies are not a Serbian forte, so we need to capture Thessaloniki. So John the Sixth is our friend. He's not a reliable ally. First, we have to attack Thessaloniki. Then there's John the Fifth. See, so his control is in Thrace. There's the Ottoman Empire, led by Orhan. Then there's Krishnich. Then there's Thessaloniki. Then there's John V and the inhabitants of Thrace. Okay, I'm going to forget all of this. Okay, here are the four fortified towers in uh, Thessaloniki. So blue is to the west and blue is to the center. Green is over here to the east. Okay, well, we'll just focus on getting our eco all built up as per usual. Okay, so... What's over here to the east? I'm a little curious. Oh, here's a Hussar. Okay, so we have a dock, and we can transport. We can even... Or no, we only have one transport ship. It's not really that great. Come on, it's time to attack, Stefan. No, I'm booming. Okay, that's Palaiologos' army. Man, Greek is hard. Well, I guess that's why, you know, there's a saying, it's all Greek to me. So we can defeat purple, but we don't have to. So I, I get the feeling that if we choose to defeat purple, then we're going to be friends with blue. And if we don't, then... Blue is going to betray us. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Or something. Well, I hope they don't train a navy. Because they would kind of suck. Oh, yes, here are our allies. They're attacking Thessaloniki. Well, 
rocks over here. Well, blue can't be defeated, but even if, like, the blue has two bases, they're top scorers in the game right now. I feel like that should be fine. Oh, how dare these Byzantine scumbags hurt me again. Humph! Don't think this is over. Um... Do that. Go for our howl, you know, unique unit combo y thing. You should be good to go. Uh, do you see the hammer in my hand? Enemy's armor. Click the box 500. Where? I don't see a blacksmith anywhere. Oh. Oh! Our swordsmen are now obooks. Okay, well, that, we'll have to make some of those guys. That's pretty neat. Few more vills. Yeah, I'll go for plenty of infantry, I suppose. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go after purple. Why not? If you want to do business, you should come to me. Ha ha ha! Ho 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 ho! I mean, I don't really need to trade with you just yet. Let's get all the upgrades. But I mean, Thessaloniki's all the way over here, whereas Purple's all the way right here. So, definitely the more immediate threat. It's kind of why I want to go for them. Let's go ahead and get some more castles going. Let's try and get some of those. Okay, purple's kind of over there. But our ally should be able to handle that, you know, reasonably well. Now yeah, we'll go for our strong halbs and our armor-piercing swordsmen. That should be fun. And of course we'll go for our blastellas. Let's -a go! I sounded just like Chris Pratt there, didn't I? Seems like, I mean, we powered up our eco pretty quickly. I mean, we started in Imperial Age, which helps. Don't have to get as many upgrades. I 
I don't know why we... Oh, we can't get Trebs or Mangonels. Or Mangonels can't attack ground, I think is what the they were saying. Uh, so we can't, like, you know, auto-betray our ally. I know a lot of you guys play campaigns like that. I, I, I generally try and avoid doing stuff like that, like mangonelling allies or trading with enemy markets and stuff like that. I, I don't know. There's no right or wrong way to play a single player game. Which, I mean, for the purposes of campaigns, AoE is a single player game. Um, it's, it's just not how I, I like doing things. I like a challenge. I, tr I try to not cheese the scenarios if I can help it. Oh. Uh, why did I get a bunch of elite Blastellas for free? I mean, I'll, I'll take 10 free elite Blastellas. I just don't know why. Oh, that is a big old base. Oh, there's orange. Oh yeah, they're saying I could transport over and like build up or something. Or maybe if I take out his army. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. If I was playing, paying closer attention to what I was reading, I probably could figure it out, but you know me. Anyway, we're making good progress here. Yeah, we can get a navy once we take Thessaloniki. And based on our general position in Thrace, Mediterranean should be around here. Or, uh, the Aegean. Or, no, not the Aegean. The Ionian Sea? I think that's... Oh no, it is the Aegean. I don't know. There's a lot of little mini seas in the Mediterranean. Let's keep this train going. I mean, we could technically make hand cannons, I just don't really see the need to. Still making good progress. Whoa, yo, homie, you wanna not? I can't make a navy, this isn't fair. Oh, wait, there he is. At least I can strip his armor. Oh, wait, I didn't even kill him. 
I've at least stripped most of his armor. Don't think you can win here. Ugh. I'm so low on resources, how am I supposed to do anything? No, I'm pretty sure we can just go over here. But, you know, clear out one base at a time. Makes sense to moi. See how far back this goes. Don't think it's going to go much further. No, not at all, in fact. All right, we'll just clean out this last little bit of infrastructure and turn our attention down this way. Yeah, we're just still hanging out there. What are you guys doing there? Look at those champions tearing off the armor from those villagers. Come on, kids. Oh, that's a big army. That is a big old army. And they do have that whole navy thing, which is, again, kind of annoying. If I can use my hotkeys. Well, that went poorly. Oh, Orange is actually attacking. Oh, I guess they come from that way. But we still have our allies. And, like, Blue's doing fine. Blue couldn't be doing any better. And purple's a big threat, and I feel like it would have been really hard to push into Thessaloniki without dealing with purple first. down these walls here. Right, no, you don't do anything. Okay, now we're looking better. Yeah, we're just, like, annihilating the army between our Vlastellas and Champions. Let's get some Trebs. I think there's more stone on the map, so I can, I can still be a little bit frivolous with how I uh, build these castles.
Yeah, I mean, there's like no, a little bit more stone over that way. Anyway, uh, Grishnich and uh, John the Sixth seem to be holding off yellow and orange just fine. Okay, this only seems like a little base. Hopefully this is it. Dushan, do you think you can take over Thrace by destroying my army here? I have to remember that your so-called alliance is something-something. Yeah. Uh, everything will belong to me in Serbia. Okay, so purple's gone. And not a moment too soon, evidently. Well, I guess it's good that we're acting pretty quickly. Or at least, you know, kind of quickly. Quickly in the grand scheme of things. Oh, I just realized there's so much stone over there. Let's try and replace some of these lumber camps. I got centurions. Fancy, are we? Anyway, okay, so here's Thessaloniki. Oh, come on, man. Our reinforcement points are a little on the far side. Not gonna lie. But maybe we can get some kind of forward production in this bit of a no man's land. Yeah, just ignore that villager. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Oh man, I was casting a game today uh, on my Twitch channel, you know, slash uh, Ornlu underscore AOE. I'm there like four to five days a week and I cover every tournament. And I've done literally longer since I've been doing YouTube videos, as people still don't know. Which I guess is just my own poor advertising of my own stream. Um, but uh, it was a game of Arabia. It was Song Song versus Vivi. And Song Song built... In Feudal Age, built a dock. Or no, it was actually in Dark Age. Yeah, built a dock on Arabia in the tiny pond and actually made four fishing ships to boost his eco. I mean, he lost the game eventually, but that wasn't the reason. It was, it was pretty great. Go for the Arabia fish boom. No fear. Okay. 
Go after the fortified towers. I mean, there's still a huge amount of the map that hasn't been explored. We haven't really dealt with orange, and we haven't dealt at all with red. Alright, kids, let's go. I have no gold income. Awesome. I really hope it doesn't come down to trading with this market because, yeah. Yeah. I guess there's a little gold right there. Anyway, I don't want to start setting up military production buildings forward if I can help it just yet. I want to see what happens once I take down these towers. Oh, frickin' fire towers, man. Target you. Got him. Perfect. Thank you very much, Stefan. Uh, John the Fist's troops in Thessaloniki were beaten to pieces by us, and now they have no choice but to surrender. Now that we've taken Thessaloniki, is it time for you to keep your promise? Uh, the Serbs are here again. They can't let it end anymore. Uh, I would have guessed it would end like this, but you have a kind of behavior to give you ultimate victory. Then you're so naive. Victory cannot be won by trickery. Content kind of zowls. Flight watch the infighting of uh, this group of heretics. We, the Ottomans, will set foot in the European soil today. Now let them see the power of our Janissary Corps. Stefan Dushan, I know choice now. I'll never let my empire fall to the hands of John V. Um, army for me. Now you're all alone here. Ha ha. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, crap. So I guess there was a chance. Maybe if we didn't defeat Purple, we could have allied with him. I'm not entirely sure how that would work out. Anyway, first we need to take down blue over here. But we've actually been fairly careful with our gold spending. Like, we've been making mostly trash units, cheap siege units, and cheap infantry. Well, I mean, the infantry isn't cheaper, but, you know. Infantry is cheap, in general. Now, I don't know where the Ottomans are, exactly. I mean, vaguely, I know they're to the south of the map. At least, uh, Jovan Oliver Grichnich is our friend still. Oh, there are the Odomans. Oh, that happened. Oh, oh, those rocks went away. Well, Thessaloniki's our enemy again, which isn't so great. Yeah, that's the Thessaloniki Palace. We're gonna need to find a source of gold, though, like, pretty soon. Our bill count has dipped a lot, but our army count's enormous, so... And I think we need a large army.
Oh, it's freaking long range tower. No! Oh, it's the columns! Yeah, I'm getting shelled over here, but hopefully we're going to do the thing like we did in the last scenario, where we take back Thessaloniki, they become our allies, and then they'll use their navy to attack the enemy navy, so I don't have to use the lousy Slav navy. Winning all around, just like Charlie Sheen. But yeah, Thessaloniki, again is the obvious first choice. Oh, once he took down this fortress over here. Actually, let's go with this Lostella. See what's going on to the south. I mean, I know the Ottomans are in general that way, but let's we'll see how far their reach is. And what about Orange? I, oh, I guess... Orange is just kind of dead because we pulverized him. <laughs> oh yeah, we're only on 78 bills. This is the Italian wonder, by the way, in case you didn't know. So they just set one of the uh, architecture sets to Italians in the scenario editor. All right, friend me up, bro. Oh, that's the Bulgarian wonder. The palace was destroyed. I surrender. Now our allegiance to Serbia. We're willing to provide the Serbia with the navy. Thank you. The group of navies got the naval technology of the Byzantine Empire. Awesome. Oh wait, we just have we just have Cyan now. Oh, we just got all of their stuff. Okay. That isn't terrible. Okay, new group of hotkeys. Hopefully there's, like, gold I can mine over here somewhere. Some gold right there. Um, I guess I could go after blue, or I could go after the Ottomans. The Ottomans seem to have a huge camp. Blue doesn't have much left, because, you know, we were allied with them earlier. We know exactly what they have. You guys are stuck. Um, you guys start mining stone over there or something. So much stuff. Oh, and now there's the bug where the mini-map won't change anymore. So now we're just going to be going through the black area. The enemy is raiding our camp! That, I suppose? Right, almost have our eco in order. Oh, well, why are you outpacing my army? Crap. 
crap. Oh wait, we are kind of exploring more of the map. I am not sure how this bug works. Good old Byzantine heavy cav archers. You only miss bloodlines and Parthian tactics. It's not even the worst it could possibly be. There isn't even a single worst cav archer sieve among sieves that have them. Where are you, my Ottoman ally? Or Han, what the hell are you doing? I am very disappointed with your performance. You are not worth the sacrifice of my army to work for you. You should rely on yourself. Snaps fingers. Well, uh, they folded really fast. Much faster than I anticipated. Not that I'm complaining. Just need to get ourselves uh, some new siege workshops. I mean, of all the buildings that have forward siege workshops, are going to be the most important in general, just because, you know, siege units are slow. Wait, if I have bombard cannons and hand cannons, oh, I don't have bomb. I don't have bombard towers, right? No. <sighs> sad, sad, big sad. Onward! I'm literally going in the wrong direction. I am such a dummy. Okay, so it just seems like they have a camp over here, and you know, we'll take we'll take him down. Oh, it means I can go over here now. Oh, they have IMAMs. Yeah, very narrow mountains over here to the south. Doubt's good name are you doing? I am here, Ottomans! Genesis is time to play! Oh, more Sipahi cavalry. Back in Ottoman Empire. I don't, I've, I've done so many campaigns located in Southeastern Europe recently, I'm, I'm getting them all mixed up. Oh, is that Orhan? No, that's Aladin Pasha. Well, he will be elated with the burden of defeat, because I'm going to wreck him. You 
Doo -doo. I guess there's another relic over there I can take. No reason not to. Other than sheer laziness. Which, when I'm concerned, is a pretty compelling reason. Knock, knock, knock. We got this. Oh no! I lost the stone for my castle. What am I gonna do? Oh wait, is there? Is that Orhan? There you are. That is still 10-7 armor. Sorry guys. Look at it go. Be ramping up in just a second. Oh, and we've gotten basically everything at this point. Oh, you know what? I really hope we don't have to defeat the Navy. I have a very strong suspicion that we're going to need to defeat the Navy. Because... Um, how's this work? Oh boy. I have so many units queued up. Yeah, Red doesn't have anything left. Alright. A little unfortunate how how this must end. Yeah, I, I assume their trigger to resign is just, uh, you know, when they have below X unit threshold. Or at least that's part of it. I can get spies. It's only 8,000. Oh. 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 Oh, that's weird. I can't use my usual cannon galley in hockey. They just don't have hockeys.
That's really weird. Well, that explains a lot. Not too sure what these guys doing, being on this island here accomplishes, personally. Oh yeah, our galleon's Miss Bracer. <laughs> Even if we have all the other naval upgrades from being friendos with the uh, Thessaloniki. Oh well. Yeah, these guys seem to have all the all the upgrades. See how you hold on to Thassos. See the power of my navy. Taste the Ottoman cannon. We'll see how you Serbian cavalry fare against Ottoman cannon. They're all going to get massacred, whatever. Whoa, lag. Lag! Lag, no! There is some AI somewhere that is really trying to walk on water. I have a very strong suspicion that's the case. What's my frame rate? It's going everywhere from 70 to 16. That's pretty inconsistent. Oh, now things seem to be smoothing out. Those guys are trying to cross the water. I wonder if they're part of the reason for the lag. Okay, do I have any, like, actual army left? I got you, clowns. Yeah, they're neutral to me. They won't attack the Vils. No, I wonder if the devs originally envisioned something more with the uh, the neutral stance. Because 
I mean, as it happens, it's only used in campaigns. Like, there is realistically no multiplayer function unless you're playing with Diplo. And even then, it's usually used either ally or enemy. Because neutral is, um... You don't uh, pursue enemy units all the way across the map. And you don't attack villagers. Other than that, you're basically just enemies. Oh my god. Why you gotta be like this? Make a bunch of Lostella. Yes, attack those fortified wall segments. Oh hey, I never used the market all game long. I don't know, man. Okay, this is a little painful, not gonna lie. I'll spare you this time, heretics. Look how you'll be in a state of disunity sooner or later, or something, something. And you and my enemies have been expelled by me. So you should still thank me in the future. We'll fight for Constantinople. Stefan Dushan, at least you could eliminate my opponent from me. This time, let's get even. Just as we were going from victory to victory, Stefan Dushan suddenly negotiated secretly with the Empress Dowager and then betrayed me. In fact, think uh, about it. This is normal. A complete and powerful Rome is not what Stefan Dushan needs. Only when everything goes well can the greatest uh, benefit. In such troubled times, cunning is even a virtue. As a last resort, I had to make a deal with the devil. I married my dear daughter Theodora to Orzan Ghazi of the Ottomans in exchange for an elite Turkic army. Yes, I ended up winning the civil war, but I didn't have the slightest joy. I married another daughter to the current emperor John and honored him as co-emperor. But four years later, at the instigation of a group of scheming nobles, he turned against me again and I had to defeat and depose him with the help of the Turkish army. So far, I have become the sole emperor, but I have also become a loner. It was a war that almost destroyed everything, reducing the great Roman Empire to a feeble remnant of its former glory. Stefan Dushan, however, benefited from this, taking the opportunity to devour large swaths of the empire. Perhaps it was the recent victory that kept his ambitions from hiding, and on Easter Sunday he was crowned by the Serbian Patriarch in Skopje Cathedral. Stefan Dushan arrogantly called himself Emperor and Autocrat of the Serbs and Romans. Just like Tsar Simeon I of Bulgaria hundreds of years ago, Stefan Dushan uh, longed to enter Constantinople and become a true Roman emperor. He drew up plans for a siege of Constantinople and even got in touch with the Venetians, hoping for the support of their mighty navy. But right now, he still has one thing to solve. Alrighty. Okay, guys, that was John against John. See you guys next time in Bosnian Expedition.